Welcome to my creative message of hope. This is less creative and more of an intentional message of hope. Yes, this is for a school project. However, I also want it to be a message for you to grasp biblical hope in a new way for yourself. So the definition of hope, according to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, is to cherish a desire with anticipation, to want something to happen or to be true, to desire with expectation of obtainment and fulfillment. So you're ex there's an expectation with the definition of hope, with hope itself. What I want to talk to you today about is the definition of biblical hope, of a realization of biblical hope for your life. There are several Hebrew verbs that may in certain context be translated to hope in English. One of them, kawa, may denote hope in a sense of trust, as when Jeremiah addresses God. In Jeremiah 14, 22, he says, our hope is in you, or in a more literal translation, our trust is in you, right? Biblical hope means that we have an actual trust in our God. We have an expectation of things to come according to what the Bible says will take place. And within those prophecies is a glorious end, listen to this, a glorious end for all those who believe in Jesus Christ and live for him. There's a glorious and there's an expectation of, of the fulfillment of prophecy of things to come that is very exciting. It, it's, it, it's acceptable for you to get excited about biblical hope. It'll keep you going. Hebrews 10.23 says, Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is faithful. This is the message that we have, such a hope, such a confidence in him, that we are unwavering in our confession of faith. This is biblical hope. The world today needs hope as times become more and more uncertain in the world around us, everything that we see. As the children of God, we have an eager expectation that God is going to send his son, Jesus Christ, back for us to rescue us from the destruction that is coming upon the whole world. What does the Bible say about our hope in that? Our expectation. Revelation 3.10 says, Jesus said to the church, to the believers, because you have kept my command to persevere, I will also keep you from the hour of trial, which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth. This is biblical help, hope that one day we will be completely delivered. We have a hope that the destruction that's coming on the world is not for us, that the Lord Jesus will keep us from that destruction, not through that destruction, not during that destruction. He will keep us from it. That's a wonderful biblical hope. Hallelujah. We're like the nation of Israel in the Bible who was expecting the Messiah to come, right? They were taken out of their land by the Assyrians and the Babylonians. They were brought into captivity. This was the promised land. This was the promised land that their ancestors had moved into by the inheritance of God. They had hope that the God who brought their ancestors into this promised land would one day bring them back to it, bring them out of captivity and into the back into their promised land, back into the, the nation of Israel. And you know what? He did. He said he would, and he did. And that prophecy has been fulfilled. He's faithful. So they, these Hebrews were under the old covenant. They were living in the Old Testament right before Christ. If you know anything about these two covenants, the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Old Covenant, the New Covenant, us as the children of God, we're under better promises 
under the new covenant, which is in Christ. It's the, if you don't know, covenant means agreement. There's a new agreement in by which we have the right to have relationship with God. It's an agreement. It's a relationship based in agreement, right? So we agree to live how God instructs us to, and we can live in relationship with him. So us being, living in the new covenant, which is in Jesus Christ, we have rights and promises that are far better and far exceed the old covenant. So we got that clear. Hebrews 8, 6 says, But now Jesus, our high priest, has been given a ministry that is far superior to the old priesthood. For he is the one who mediates for us a far better covenant with God, based on better promises. Under a better co covenant with better promises, how much more of a right do we have as the new covenant children of God, how much more of a right do we have to have biblical hope in him? He certainly will keep his promises for us as he did for the nation of Israel. This is biblical hope. This is a real hope based on historical facts, biblical prophecy, and the fulfillment of it by a God who we can tru truly, truly place our trust in. So I want you to take this message of hope today for yourself from God's word and allow it to penetrate into your heart and into your mind, allowing it to bring you the peace of God by your faith in him. And while, while you pray to him, I want that this biblical hope to come alive in your life. That you look to heaven and, and say, God, you're my God and I trust you. And I know you're faithful. And I believe you. And God loves to be believed on. If you need hope, for a specific area of your life, go to the Bible and find God's promises for you and place your hope in them because he is faithful and he can be trusted to have your hope placed in him. This is biblical hope. And I place my hope in Christ years ago back in 2018 and i can tell you he is faithful there is an eager expectation that i have of living with god in heaven one day and on the new earth in the fact that he is going to make all things new that there is a new earth coming in the future that bible prophecy will continue to be fulfilled until Everything is made new. Death and hell and Satan are destroyed. And we get to live free from the power of sin, in glorified bodies, in paradise forever, experiencing the glory of God and never having to face suffering, sorrow, sickness, disease, or death ever again. This is biblical hope. It's very exciting. Biblical hope should carry you from one day to the next with the eager expectation of living with Jesus Christ one day. Of seeking him in what you do and watching him answer your prayers and deliver you and bring you into a better life. Breaking all of curse, all curse off of your life and causing everything to be new. Not one day, but now as we trust in him. The Bible says his mercies are new and, and are fresh every morning. Praise God. I hope this creative message of hope has found you well today, that you would play it over and over again for yourself, for your family, and allow the, the, the word of God to penetrate your heart and mind and bring you the biblical hope that belongs to you. God bless you.